I have my orders. I am to go to some witch who lives south of Shadenhall, far to the east of the Imperial City. Most of the traveling to there will have to be at night, and that is what I'll have to get used to from now on until I'm cured. I feel a great weakness within me. The affliction has moved on to a new high. It requires sustenance. After Velia stared at my face for a minute without my helm on, looking at the changes, she said they become too obvious. I believe I will need to feed soon, or no one will want to deal with the likes of me. Already some are shunning me when they notice me. There's some changes in my strength, and I have the ability to see at night. I just haven't used most of my powers yet. I don't want to, as I don't want to acknowledge what I've become. It is not me, or the me that I want to be. I get a bit angry when I think of it, as I know it is due to my own carelessness. The panic has been replaced by apathy to some extent. I hope this isn't due to the disease. I don't want to get to the point where I do not care about anything or anyone beyond my physical requirements as a vampire. My life, if it reached something like that, would be effectively over. Yes, Velia is greatly concerned for me. I can easily see it in her face and in the tone of her voice. I believe she thinks that I am strong enough to fight the urges to feed on her, and I've told her that I'll not ever do it, so she doesn't have to worry. But there's always the chance, and I know she's worried about that too. If Count Hasseldor's wife can defy it, then so can I, until needed that is. I will feed on someone soon, or two. I just have to, or I'll not be able to carry on. I hate the idea, but I'm left with no choice, but it will definitely not be Vilya. I cannot even summon Fergus at this point. I don't want him to see me like this. If I need him for some fight, I will, but at the moment, the last thing I need is for another person concerned over me, or worse, someone who would want to do me in. So no to Fergus unless absolute need requires it. We have to get to that witch soon. Made it to Pell's Gate, probably more than halfway where I need to go to east or south of Shadenhall. I'm tired of this burning. Nothing I'd like to talk there must be an inn here. See you. Farewell. I see no sign. Good they say that the Oh, this looks like an inn. Hello? Welcome to Pell's Gate, friend. Can I rent a bed for the day? I have a room if you're interested. It's ten gold for a night. Okay, I'll take it. Go upstairs and look for the first door. Sleep well. Okay. Heard any good rumors lately? Have you seen a landrek? We call them billies. Don't know why. Steer clear of them, though. I don't know what she just said to me. Billies? Is this something to do with a goat? Do you sell Only anything? Only quality goods for sale here. You sell potions. What can I interest you in? Actually, oh, I think I should get to know this woman a little bit better. We'll she just see. sell healing potions. How nice! It's just what I wanted. Mm. What a thoughtful gift. Very expensive. Only quality goods for sale. I need some of these. That's a lot of gold. Well, let's see what I can sell to her. Yes, I have a few potions I can sell to her to make that money back up. But... She uh, doesn't offer very much, so this is going to take a while. In my dream, I approach a vampire ancient, having just completed a perilous task for him. I swell with pride, sure that he will now bestow even greater power upon me. The entire clan's eyes are upon me. Walking towards the dais where he stands, I realize that my task for him is actually unfinished, and that all my vampiric powers have left me. I cry out as the clan descends upon me, 
and the ancient's fangs rip into the flesh of my throat. Oh, that was a terrible nightmare. What's going on in here? Excuse me, Vilya. You're right in the way. Have you been well recently? Your skin looks a bit... off. Well, Welcome to Pell's Gate, friend. Pretty good rumors. Cyrodiil is surrounded to the north and east by the lofty Gerald and Vallis mountain ranges. Ah, yes, Vallis. Okay, thank you. That's Goodbye. Nearby where we're going, actually. Well, I rested around seven hours, or six hours. Ah. Ah! This Magnus is still burning me. We'll continue east. Why are you looking at me like that? Why am I looking at you like that? I really come to like this woman. Both of us are taking it slow, but we are taking steps towards, hopefully, uh, getting even closer. So, yes, I'm around halfway there. And this is the way we need to go. So that woman in the inn, she was wearing a uh, elven helm. Just somebody's corpse there. A little unusual. Vampires have to feed on live corpse, so no, it's not like I felt anything there. Uh, I am curious. Now that it is night, I don't feel any great urgency. Looking for uh, alchemical ingredients. Um, I don't like exactly getting wet like this. It's uncomfortable. Oh, where was my... Uh I forget where it was. Sea stride? That's water walking, yes. Water dipping, as I call it. Vilia's companionship has really helped me through this ordeal in the last few Greetings. days. Okay, let's go. Keep going east. There's, uh,. No Nern route that I've seen here, or heard. Deer? It's a stag, actually. Just standing there. I'm not sure, did I take the right route? Yes, there should be a bridge right ahead. Old fort ruins here. Uh, don't... Yes, I want to go this way, and then we'll go east through the woods, I suppose. We'll have to find a way to cross the, uh... The... S Cor Corbol River here. No, you haven't. At night. Well, my view... Vision is supposed to be increased as a vampire at night. I haven't really noticed any improvements, though. A dark cave is still a dark cave. I can't see too clearly. Dead bandit. I may have been the one who killed that one. Some time ago. Okay, so. It should be straight to the east from here. I'm not afraid it's a wolf? Of nope. No, it's a puma. Uh, mountain lion. Ah! Uh, Die! Ah! 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 ah, that was vicious. I realized I was getting slashed up like that. Right through my armor. And shield. Huh. It didn't Why take... Like oh, I'm always looking at you lately, Vilya. Always. More deer ahead. On our way west here, we saw a minotaur. 
And we also saw... What do you call those? Uh, oh, Willow the Wisps, that's what they're called. The shooting star. And it actually had killed two guards and was chasing off one of their horses. So, oh, there's a shrine here. Perhaps I should visit it. We also encountered... Uh, Know the truth, observe the law. Pray at my chapel, Altar, receive my blessings. Julianos. What did we fight? We fought a bear and one of those tree people. Which hey, name saludes me at the moment? And we also fought a troll. And the day before that, on the way to Skingrad, we killed three goblins. Okay, so this is uh, going to get a little dangerous. We could run into ogres, trolls, who knows. Goblin clan. Oh, looks like there's an A-lead ruin up ahead. Is this on my map? No, it was not. It's a fair size one. I know they're everywhere here in Cerdo. This could have been one of their cities. I'll have to look up the name of this. Uh, but I can see a map of all the known ones. Looks like a fort. The river should be close by. Quite steep down here. I can't see too well. Well, at least this way, there's no oblivion gates, but there will be wildlife, such as this wolf that's now on my horse's heels. Here's the river. That's pretty steep. Where did it go? Oh! Flying ah! through the air. Oh, <laughs> well, there you are, Vilya. Thank you for the light. We've got to find a way to ford this river. Because on this side is too steep, but it's not so steep over there. I'm sorry, Prophet. Still looks a little steep. But we'll try it. Thank the nine. There's no crocodiles here. If there is in some of the provinces, it gets too cold in winter. Come on, Prophet. You can do it. Come on. Okay. I think we've made it. We made it up. Hello there. Where's all the Nurn root? Actually, I see one. And I hear it. Jim Singh, Peony. Oh. It's a little dock someone made. Wonder what? On the other you side. think you can beat me? Go Mud ahead! Usually they're not uh, aggressive. I will take its meat, though. It's good eating. There you are. Four more left, and I can go see Sindarin again. On your horse. Oh, Vilya. Okay, so we should be nearby. Uh, you can make it up these stairs, can't you, Prophet? Actually, we're south of it now. It's just... Oh, well, there's a home right here. This bridge and that uh, little dock probably belonged. Along here. Well, this is supposed to be the place where... Wait. What did he say? Something about the Glen Moral. 
<sighs> Look up for a woman in the wilderness along the Cordoba River, east of the Imperial City. Oh. Well, we found it, and we're right in the way. Blackberry bush. Tobacco. Hmm. I take it we came from the wrong side. This probably goes up Shaden Hall, the path. Maybe not. Anyways, let's, uh... Yeah, well, let's go in. Get out of here! Don't tell me I have to wait for a day, Tom. I can't. Hello. What brings you to this neck of the woods, sir? I'm looking for a cure for vampirism. Oh, my. What makes you think I would know about such a thing? <sighs> You're a witch, aren't you? Oh, my dear. I gave up witchcraft a long, long time ago. But a cure for vampirism. That's something I haven't thought about in quite some time. Very challenging and potentially dangerous. I'll face it. If you do a little something for me, I'll help you. Of course. How does that sound? Looks like I don't have a choice. What do I have to do? I have my own interests, and they occasionally require resources that are difficult for me to acquire. Soul gems, for example. If you can bring me five empty grand soul gems, I'm quite sure I can help you with this cure that if you I seek. Could buy some and shame I shall await your return. I have some on me. Empty. Empty ones. Yes, definitely they're empty. I don't know how many I have, though. I have four. Huh. I just need one more. I've been saving them. Four grand soul gems. Goodbye. I just need to go to Shaden Hall and buy one more. Okay, then. Let's... Where'd you go, Prophet? Here you are. I guess now we find out if there is a path to Shaden Hall. And... Let's see. It's not that far from here. But, uh... Yeah. It is, uh, just after midnight. After midnight, not just after. I hope that she is able to give me some information. Or... Some information to steer me in the right direction. Do I have to cross the river? It would be faster if I did. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to cross the river again, Prophet. And uh, it looks a little steep. On both sides. Okay. Let's try over here. Don't hear or see any Nurnwood. Come on, you can do it. There we go. We're actually quite close to Shaden Hall. Oh, there's a big rock in front of me. The only being watched. The wolf, of course. I want the last one fell to one of strike. Where are you? Where are you? Ah! Stupid wolf. Whoa! Oh, scared. Scared me. Is this some kind of spell you've cast? You look like you're swimming. How oh, odd. Uh, definitely not going to argue what I'm looking at, though. Against what I'm looking at. She certainly has a nice body. Oops, I didn't mean to get off. Prophet. Hi there. Oh, hi. Let's keep going, shall we? And We're almost there. We made it back to Shaden Hall. I am in a little bit of rush. I would rather not travel during the day. Oops. Running right. I can't see. Some vampire I am. I can't see at night. Alright, well, I'm not here to stay at one of their fine establishments. I have to go right to the Mage's Guild and see if I can wake someone up to buy a Grand Soul Gem. And I found exactly what I'm looking for. 
though I'm paying a lot of gold for it. However, I was able to upgrade my uh, retort and alembic, so I can sell the alembic and the retort. So now I have almost all journeyman quality equipment. Now it's time to sell some of the potions that I've been making. And then we'll return to the witch. I can't even go out in the daylight oh, you anymore. To talk to me? Be seeing you. I'll be dead How in can I help you today, no time. It's way, way, way too painful. And way too d damaging. Have you been well recently? Your skin looks a bit... Hi there. Uh, Any glad you notice. Everyone's reading? talking about it. How can I I've help you today, friend? Recently. Oh, we're Where gonna have to stay here work? until nighttime I again. Because I can't even go out ago. anymore I'll in the day. Give it another read. Yes, Magnus is still burning me. We have to go. I can't even Hello wait. There. There. It's almost nine at night. Magnus should let up soon. There's some little town nearby. I don't know what it is. Or maybe it's just a home. But well, there's another shrine. Actually. Well, Nern root. Could there be there is Nern root. Wow. Water walking. Ooh, ooh, sea stride. Oh, maybe it works when you don't stop. Pray my chapels. Uh, and my chapel actors receive my blessing. So this is Akatosh. Back to Prophet. I swear there were swans here just a moment ago. Lavender. I do like lavender. It's nice and calming and soothing. It's good for when you want to have a good sleep and you're stressed out and you can't sleep too well. Oh. According to my map, it says this is Harlan's Watch. I don't know anything about this place. Strange that they would make it just south of Shadenhall. If the walls were larger, they could encompass this little... I wouldn't even call it a village, it's just a couple of huts. Okay, let's return to the witch. Didn't take too long to get back here. Hello again. Good to see you again. Do you have the soul gems I requested? Yes, I have them. Oh, wonderful. These will be most useful to me. Now to the matter at hand. You need a cure for vampirism, yes? Yes. I believe I can create a potion that will do the trick. But it requires a few things. To start, I'll need six cloves of garlic, two shoots of blood grass, and five leaves of nightshade. Those will be easy enough for you to find. <laughs> But I'll also need the blood of an Argonian and the ashes of a powerful vampire. Those may be more difficult for you to acquire. Any old Argonian will do, but the vampire must be very powerful indeed. If you succeed, I'll get you what you need. Any questions? Where would I find Argonian blood? This dagger has been specially treated. All you need to do is stab an Argonian with it, and there'll be enough blood on it to use. I don't have to kill him, then. Any old Argonian will do, and you needn't kill it, but do be careful. Stabbing strangers often doesn't sit well with townspeople or the town guards. No, I don't think so. Anything else you can tell me about that? You haven't used it yet, have you? Don't be hesitant. This is the only way. All right, and I know Bloodgrass only comes from, I guess, Maroon's Dagon's Plain of Oblivion. A most interesting plant, from the Plains of Oblivion itself, so it may require some effort to find. 
Should your travels happen to take you to a place where it grows, keep your eyes open. Okay. So, garlic I can just pretty much go buy anywhere. You're familiar with it, aren't you? Do you grow any? Often used in cooking. It should be quite easy to find. Nightshade, yes, I actually came across a couple the other day. I already used it in my potions. Perhaps not quite as easy to find as garlic, but if you're determined, you'll find it. Keep your eyes open, as it often grows in the wild. Oh, excuse me. And Vampire Ash from a powerful vampire. Do you have any idea where one would be? This one is difficult. It may be quite a trial for you. But if you are successful, it will make the cure all the more worth it. You have come across a vampire or two in your travels, perhaps? I assure you, they are nothing like what you must face. No. The vampire you seek is powerful. So powerful that those who sought to destroy him were unsuccessful, no matter what they tried. The best they could do was to imprison him underground, where he survives to this day. Search near the North Panther River for Hinderil. If you can vanquish him, his ashes will be more than adequate for my needs. Hinderil. Are you sure this is a cure for vampirism? Once I have all the ingredients I need, I'll fashion a cure for you. This is a delicate matter and cannot be rushed. Okay. Farewell. I have no choice. It's uh, going to be a lot of work. So, we have to go to Oblivion. Assuming she doesn't grow garlic here. I wish I can come across a garden full of Nern roots. Oh, that would be nice. Strawberries. Tobacco. Blackberry. Uh, no garlic. You know what? I think Shaden Hall will have everything we need. Including the uh, blood grass. That's for the vampire. Where did she say to go for that? She, she has a, a location. Huh. Search the area near North Panther River. Is that not where I am nearby? Oh, okay, so Panther River. For Hinderal, a vampire who was imprisoned in an underground cavern many years ago. Panther River is here. Alright. So, I'll do that last. Now I'll return to Shaden Hall. We'll have to go through an Oblivion Gate to get some blood grass, and I can just... I don't have to close it. That's quite an endeavor. But, uh... We'll see about the garlic and the lavender. Or not lavender. Um... I don't know why. Nightshade. So, Shaden Hall has everything that I need. Or, around it. Except for the vampire. That is where we shall go now find a way across this river. Let's go to the the Oblivion Gate there. Well, it's not at Shaden Hall, but it's on the way. At least this way no one will see me run in and out. Looking like a bit of a coward. I didn't even see that Atronach. Uh. Ho! Ho! I have to watch out I'm more affected by fire ha! as a vampire. Ha! Come on uh. and die. Uh. Ah, that's hot. What is that? Huge. I'm not of you. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a Daedroth. It's got a lesser soul gem. Can take its teeth. Whatever arrows is lodged inside of it. Flame Atronach. I'll take its fire salts. Let's go inside. We should really get to a healer. Let's stop it like that. 
I know. That's why I'm doing this. Blood grass. Grows everywhere here. Of course, there's none here at the entrance. Ah! Oh, there's... I need two. Ah. I can conjure Stop. my own Tremora. You leave him alone! Blood grass? This. <sighs> Lesser Staff of Ruin. I can sell that. Daedra Heart. Voice of Rapture. Oh. Paralyze Potion. Let's get out of here. Come here to close it. Well, we have the Blood Grass. Stop saying how ill I look. Where's Prophet? There it is. Okay. Six cloves of garlic. Five. Um, nightshade. To go north. Five nightshade, six cloves of garlic. That's what we're after now. And it looks like... It's still late at night, I think. Yeah, it's after midnight. So, to Shade and Hall we go. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.